Hi everybody, it's Leanne from Crafty Kitty Vintage. Um, today, I on this video, I am opening some boxes that I think are my winnings from a whatnot auction. And it's the first time I purchased this much from a single seller that I didn't know. Oh boy! And so I'm really excited to get into this. There's definitely some items in here that I intend to keep. There's some items in here I intend to resell. I'm going to bring to my audience and the fabulous vintage community that we have on YouTube. And so I thought I'd do an unboxing of this shipment. What we have. Oh gosh. Yes, one of the two um, Fenton milk glass salt and pepper shakers. I could not resist these. So pretty. I don't know if I'll actually use them or not. Gorgeous. This is the other one. Let's see. This is that tough dip, duct tape, no, packing tape. That is a little thicker. A little harder to save the bubble wrap, yep. I usually try to use um, either masking tape or something else. Oh my gosh, cute. This is my first little Fenton bear, little clear crystal bear. It's Fenton on the booty. Mm -hmm. That is very cute. Yeah, you know, with whatnot, um, they have fairly reasonable shipping to start with, and then each additional item is a little bit less than it would be if you we're purchasing it separately, if that makes any sense. So basically it makes more sense to buy more pieces than it does to buy less because you're saving on shipping. And that's um, also the case if you're purchasing now, because I know they just changed their, um, their shipping policies. So I believe this is my flipping van life is the, the name of the, the gal who I purchased from, she has really great um, items for sure. And this got to me really quickly. You know, um, with whatnot, they ask you to ship within two days of the sale. And um, I bet she definitely did it the next day. And then you need to give them, you know, real feedback about what. Um, how it went, you know, how the, the sale, how the shipment went, that is. Oh, so cute. That was the first thing I bought, this little owl. Very cute. So anyway, I'm also a whatnot seller. Um, I thought I haven't had a sale yet. I had scheduled one and then changed my mind about the, um, the items I was gonna sell. So did a little more thinking, and I think I'm gonna end up doing some um, some collectible, like bone china kind of things, um, teacups and um, bells and little pictures and things like that um, as my first sale. This is a little bit of a learning curve to try to figure out how it all works and how much to charge for shipping. You know, you put in the weight of the item. Oh, these are some little Fire King. Um, dishes that I thought were amazing. Now they probably originally came with lids, but I don't care. Um, these are perfect just as they are for, um, you know, to eat out of or whatever, but they're beautiful too. Beautiful pattern. I love them. 
can use them under um, potted plants, things like that. Put jewelry in them when I'm sorting my jewelry pieces for sales. So, those are great. I think I got them for just a couple bucks. Uh oh, this is broken. That's a shame. That was a pretty piece of purple glass. I'll set that aside and take a picture. Sometimes that can't be helped. I think it's because this larger item was with it. Sometimes when you pack and you put a heavier item with a lighter item, the lighter item just gets smashed. And that's the way it goes. I'm sure she'll make good on that one. No worries. This, I think, is an apothecary jar, so this is a lot thicker, heavier weight um, than that piece that broke. Oh my goodness. I'd love to save this bubble wrap. Is it Ellie Smith? I think it's Ellie Smith. Have mid century looking apothecary jars. Oh, look, and there's items inside. That's smart. Anyway, yeah, this is my first apothecary jar. I'm going to put it in my kitchen. I love the yellow with the honey color. I love how it picks up the light. It's gorgeous. coming out outside. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of little owls. These are the cutest. Look at the googles. The googly eyes. That is cute. That's right, I bought a whole bunch of owls. That's cute. So. That was smart to save space and put them inside the apothecary jar. Owls. Let's see. I think my my partner, the man I live with, just bought a lawn mower, a push mower, and I think he's outside mowing the lawn, which is pretty cute. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, I might have to keep this one. I don't usually collect owls, but this one is. Genuine alabaster, made in Italy. Gosh, she has amazing items. Oh, Alice. This one's cute. It has like a little hanger, like maybe it was a, I don't know, an ornament or something. So cute. Oh, love them. Okay. And then there was this little box in here. And I think this is a art glass vase made by Timothy Hall that I never thought in a million years that I would buy something like this, but I saw this and thought this was um, just what I needed to get because it is fabulousness. An art glass is, um, is really, really popular with some of our art glass collectors in the community. So I thought I'd give this a try. I might just have it on display for a little while before I sell it. Thanks for sticking with me through this almost 10 minutes now into this video and you know, I've had a lot of unwrapping here. Only one casualty and that was probably my least favorite item anyway, so I'm okay with that. 
long as this one's safe, we'll be good. Okay, we're almost there. I'm trying to remember where these, what part of the country these came from, how far they had to travel. I don't remember where she's located. Let's see if we can tell. came from Oakland ME. Now, I have trouble with the, the M state abbreviations. Um, I want to say that's... God, I don't know. What part of the country is that? It's not Michigan. It's not Maryland. Okay. This is pretty neat. I'm going to take out the paper and check it out. Yeah, that's pretty neat. And it's signed. From the 80s, 1088. It's here I graduated high school and started college. <laughs> well, if you're interested in any of these items, let me know. They'll be coming to a, a live sale soon. Wow. Beautiful. All right. Well, I hope you're all doing well and having a beautiful day. And um, check out my live sales every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific is what I'm doing right now, but it could change here pretty soon. I might change uh, to a different day. Fridays are just becoming pretty busy. So it might be a Thursday. It might be a Tuesday that I change it to. So um, stay tuned for that. Obviously, if you're a subscriber, you'll get notifications if you had the, the bell clicked. Um, well, anyway, I appreciate you all watching and I hope you're well and take care of yourselves and the ones you love. Tell your loved ones that you love them while you have them. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching.